Welcome to the programme this Monday evening. Thanks for joining us. We start tonight with more on one of the biggest issues facing a generation, tackling climate change. As we know, London has recently experienced the impact of warmer temperatures and flash flooding. And the Mayor, Sadiq Khan, is at COP26 Climate Summit in Glasgow, where he's joined other leaders of global cities to call for more funding and more powers to make the necessary changes. Here's our environment correspondent, Tom Edwards. This summer, flash flooding hit parts of the capital. Experts say they'll become more frequent as the climate warms. At Euston this morning, mayors from 12 cities took a message to the climate conference in Glasgow. Action from world leaders is needed to stop climate change. Look, we've got to make sure that we can lobby governments across the globe, including our one, to give mayors and cities the powers and resources that they need uh, to take action, to move away from carbon emissions to sustainable ways of uh, creating energy, renewables, solar, uh, wind. We've got to retrofit our buildings. We've got to electrify our buses. That will create jobs across the country, but also clean up our area as well. London's Victorian infrastructure can struggle to cope with the intense downpours that are becoming more regular. And two summers ago, extreme heat hit the capital. Again, experts say that's more likely if the climate continues to warm. Cities suffer more as they're made of concrete, which absorbs heat and then pumps it out. It's called the urban heat island. According to the United Nations, cities use 78% of the world's energy and emit 60% of the greenhouse gases. But they consist of only 2% of the world's surface area. And experts say if global warming is to be restricted to a rise of 1.5 degrees, which is what they're talking about in Glasgow, then it will mean big shifts in land, energy, buildings, transport and infrastructure. Cities across the world now have similar concerns. Phoenix is a desert city. We are warming quickly. We need success. We're sending the message we want to be part of the solution and reduce our emissions. And we hope that the entire world can come together. We feel a lot of momentum going into the conference. Are you optimistic? I am very optimistic. It seems that the world has seen so many difficult events that give additional momentum to the science. So we really hope we'll come out of this with the political will to get something done that will help my children and their children. As these mayors head to Glasgow, their message from the millions they represent, action needs to be taken now. Tom Edwards, BBC London.